ratios. Now here I have taken a protractor and here is a model of a house. Okay, this we can also use for real life buildings. Only thing is precisely we have to calculate the distance. And taking the use of a scale to clearly identify the distance between the building and the place where I am measuring the angle. And I am also taking the help of a laser to pinpoint what is the angle that I am going to find. So what I am going to do is, I will take the laser, okay, and can you see the laser on the building? It is moving, right? So what I can do is, I can keep the laser exactly at the middle of the protractor and I can find out any particular point where I want to find the height of the building. Either it can be the top of the first floor or it can be the foot of the first floor or it can be the foot of the building, okay, at different places I can have been doing some questions in applications of trigonometry chapter. Now this is an instrument called clinometer. Okay? I have already explained in the class that a clinometer is used for either finding the height of the object or the distance between the person observing and the object. Easily through a clinometer, using a tube, a protractor and any way we can easily find out the angle. Do the experiment you have to take the test tube and or take dilute sulfate HCl in the test tube. You have to do the experiment with the magnesium first. Observe carefully and uh, whether the reaction is fast or slow. What all changes you are experiencing that you have to take. metals, magnesium is given to you. Then zinc is also given to you. You have two test tubes with the same acid, which acid? So you have to take the fully observe. Did you understand? Yes. Okay. First, try with the magnesium. Try with the magnesium. Take the test tube out like this. You fall or should observe. Okay. Don't fall that test tube like like this. You fall. Everyone. No. Observe the changes. Observe the changes. Now we can pass the beam through there. What 
this part and pass to this one. Ah, yes, for that. For that, we need to close it. Okay, uh, can you see the beam of light? Observe from the top. Can you see the beam of light? No. Okay, now bring to this. So, hold closer. Can you see the beam of light? Hmm? So, it is uh, from the side, it will be like a glowing. Okay, uh, some lamp glowing. Inside the light also. Here. Less than one nanometer. Here, uh, one more is 